I see Canisu, I see cookies and cream, Purple Dream. Andy Williams grows 50 to 60 different strains in his 12,000 square foot Medicine Man marijuana cultivation. I think we're the best industrial growers of cannabis in the world. It's high tech. Machines regulate temperature, humidity, and filter the air, creating an environment for growing specialized cannabis concoctions. So if you're going best of the best, hands down, it's going to be the Screaming Gorilla. The Screaming Gorilla is one of Medicine Man's most potent offerings, with THC, marijuana's psychoactive component, testing over 25%. Are you designing them specifically to go that high? This is experimentation. We purchase seeds, we purchase different cuttings from, from different legal providers around the state. We grow them up and we see if they're good, big, and fast. In Colorado, pot plants and products... We test flour, we test uh, concentrates, we test infused products. ...must be tested for potency at third-party state-licensed laboratories. Roughly about 32, 33 percent total THC in that product that's a uh, very high-potent strain of cannabis. This is came from a flower? This came from a flower. Absolutely. Wow. Just how highly potent is that? Well, it's certainly a lot higher than, let's say, the, the national average of 6%. Dr. Kerry Franson is a clinical pharmacologist and pharmacist at the University of Colorado Skag School of Pharmacy. So we're talking about something that could be up to five times the potency of what maybe somebody just across the border from us in Nebraska might be able to get their hands on. A THC potency that could hit an inexperienced cannabis consumer hard. In fact, state data shows emergency room visits have increased 29 percent in Colorado when it comes to marijuana related incidents compared to the three years before recreational pot sales began. Is there such thing as a marijuana overdose? Well, certainly. I mean, these people are getting so anxious and uncomfortable with how they feel. They sometimes have a feeling of impending doom, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Marijuana business owners stress the importance of educating the consumer, a job for the bud tender. Did you say bud tender? <laughs> That's the person who makes the sale. Yes, Sid. He was extremely uh, descriptive. I told him how I wanted to kind of feel, what I was going for, and he um, gave me some options. A wide range of options that come in a wide range of potency. Anna Cabrera, CNN, Denver.